Component video is a video signal that has been split into two or more component channels. In popular use, it refers to a type of component analog video information that is transmitted or stored as three separate signals. Component video can be contrasted with composite video in which all the video information is combined into a single line level signal that is used in analog television. Like composite, Component video cables do not carry audio and are often paired with audio cables. When used without any other qualifications the term component video usually refers to analog YPBPR component video with sync on Luma. Analog component video, reproducing a video signal on a display device, is a straightforward process complicated by the multitude of signal sources. DVD, VHS, computers and video game consoles all store process and transmit video signals using different methods, and often each will provide more than one signal option. One way of maintaining signal clarity is by separating the components of a video signal so that they do not interfere with each other. A signal separated in this way is called component video. S-video, RGB and YPBPR signals comprise two or more separate signals, and thus are all component video signals. For most consumer level applications, analog component video is used. However, digital component video is becoming increasingly common in both computer and home theater applications. Component video is capable of carrying various signals, such as 480i, 480p, 576i, 576p, 720p, 1080i, 1080p, and beyond. Many new high-definition TVs support the use of component video up to their native resolution. RGB Analog Component Video The various RGB Analog Component Video standards use no compression and impose no real limit on color depth or resolution, but require large bandwidth to carry the signal and contain much redundant data since each channel typically includes much of the same black and white image. Most modern computers offer this signal via a VGA port. Many televisions, especially in Europe, utilize a GB via the SCART connector. All arcade games, other than early vector and black and white games, use RGB monitors. Analog RGB is slowly falling out of favor as computers obtain better clarity using display port or digital visual interface digital connections, while home theater systems increasingly favor high-definition multimedia interface in part because analog connections cannot easily be made to support digital rights management. RGB has never been common in North America for consumer electronics as S-Video was considered sufficient for consumer use, although RGB was used extensively in commercial, professional and high-end installations. In addition to the red, green and blue color signals, RGB requires two additional signals to synchronize the video display. Several methods are used. Composite sync, where the horizontal and vertical signals are mixed together on a separate wire, separate sync, where the horizontal and vertical are each on their own wire, sync on green, where a composite sync signal is overlaid on the wire used to transport the green signal. Sync on red or sync on blue, where a composite sync signal is overlaid on either the red or blue wire, composite sync is common in the European SCART connection scheme. RGBS requires four wires a Euro red, green, blue and sync. If separate cables are used, the sync cable is usually colored yellow or white. Separate sync is most common with VGA, used worldwide for analog computer monitors. This is sometimes known as a GBHV, as the horizontal and vertical synchronization pulses are sent in separate channels. This mode requires five conductors. If separate cables are used, the sync lines are usually yellow and white, yellow and black, or gray and black. Sync on green is less common, and while some VGA monitors support it, most do not. Sony is a big proponent of SoG, and most of their monitors use it. Like devices that use composite video or S-video, SoG devices require additional circuitry to remove the sync signal from the green line. A monitor that is not equipped to handle SOG will display an image with an extreme green tint, if any image at all, when given a SOG input. Sync on red and sync on blue are even rarer than sync on green, 
and are typically used only in certain specialized equipment. Luma-based analog component video Further types of component analog video signals do not use separate red, green and blue components but rather a colorless component, termed Luma, which provides brightness information. This combines with one or more color-carrying components, termed chroma, that give only color information. Both the S-video component video output and the YPBPR component video output seen on DVD players are examples of this method. Converting video into Luma and Chroma allows for Chroma subsampling, a method used by JPEG and MPEG compression schemes to reduce the storage requirements for images and video. Many consumer TVs, DVD players, monitors, video projectors and other video devices use YPBPR output or input. When used for connecting a video source to a video display where both support 4.3 and 16.9 display formats, the PAL television standard provides for signaling pulses that will automatically switch the display from one format to the other. Connectors used, D-terminal, used mostly on Japanese electronics. 3 BNC or RCA connectors, typically colored green, blue and red. SCART used in Europe. Video in video out, 9-pin mini DIN connectors called TV out and computer video cards, which usually include an adapter for component RCA, composite RCA and 4-pin S-video mini DIN. International standards, examples of international component video standards are, RS-170 RGB, RS-343 RGB, Stinag 3350 Analog Video Standard, CEA 770.3 High Definition TV Analog Component Video Interface Consumer Electronics Association, Component vs. Composite, in a composite signal, the luminance, brightness signal and the chrominance, color signals are encoded together into one signal. When the color components are kept as separate signals, the video is called component analog video which requires three separate signals, the luminance signal and the color difference signals. Since component video does not undergo the encoding process, the color quality is noticeably better than composite video. Component video connectors are not unique in that the same connectors are used for several different standards. Hence, making a component video connection often does not lead to a satisfactory video signal being transferred. Many DVD players and TVs may need to be set to indicate the type of input output being used, and if set incorrectly the image may not be properly displayed. Progressive scan, for example, is often not enabled by default, even when component video outputs is selected. See also, list of display interfaces, references. External links, point on, Charles. Color FAQ frequently ask questions about color. Retrieved June 28, 2009 A.